Highly intelligent people are very strategic, often process information faster, and make more rational decisions. This makes them more efficient at work, more confident and reliable. Being intelligent is a gift. Not everyone is this gifted. There are, however, challenges that are unique to people who are this gifted. In this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 struggles only highly intelligent people have with you. Number 1. Overthinking Situations Most smart people are intellectuals. They study quite a lot and think things through before taking action. While this is a desirable management trait in making management decisions, it can be a bit problematic in risk-taking because smart people are used to considering different possibilities. Even when they see a great opportunity, they are skeptical about it. A highly intelligent person wants to always control every situation and outcome. Still, in real life, this is hardly ever possible. Therefore, they are more likely to lose out on risky profitable business opportunities than people who are not as intelligent. People that are not smart trust mostly their gods while people who are very smart trust facts. According to Business Insider, a study published in 2015 found that verbal intelligence is linked to worry and rumination. The smarter you are, the more likely you are to think about ramifications of your decisions. You may even find it impossible to make one. Number 2. A tendency to disregard hard work Because you discover at a younger age that you do not have to make as much effort as others to make excellent grades, it might make you complacent with hard work. You may start thinking that hard work is reserved for others and not you. When you have this mindset when you are younger, you may never reach your potentials because you are not ready to invest the work needed to accomplish that type of success. So many times, smart people are passed on during promotion. This is seldom because their supervisors don't think they are intelligent. It is often because they are arrogant. They turn in their work faster than others and don't want to take on more work. According to a study published by Science Direct, how hard you work is in fact negatively correlated with certain types of intelligence. Highly intelligent people might feel like they don't need to work as hard to accomplish what they want. If you are highly intelligent, don't get cocky. You still have a lot to learn. If you knew everything, your boss would be working for you and Bill Gates will be asking you for advice. Accept that there are things that others can teach you and approach work with an open mind and be ready to collaborate and work in teams with others. Number 3. High Self-Esteem Highly intelligent people are always more likely to be overconfident than people who are not so intelligent. This is probably because, at a young age, highly intelligent people have already seen some success. This improves their confidence in their intellect and work. This type of high self-esteem, while a good thing, can lead to condescending behavior towards others. According to American billionaire Bill Gates, success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Being confident in yourself is good, but being overconfident can be a problem. You really do not have all the answers. No organization of the world is made up of just one person. Even scientists who discover more uses for nuclear material do not work on their research alone. Pitch your idea boldly, but listen to feedback from others and learn every day. You can learn from anything and anyone. Isaac Newton basically discovered gravity from watching apples fall. Number 4. They want everything to be perfect. Highly intelligent people tend to be detailed and organized. They process thoughts logically and execute their plans in steps. They also operate strategically. This influences the way they interact with others and they hold themselves to very high standards. They want everything to work out exactly as planned. Things hardly ever do. A highly intelligent manager is more likely to sign off products for market consumption than a not so intelligent manager. The highly intelligent manager may never really be satisfied that the products are ready. On the other hand, the other manager is more open to signing off the projects and making improvements based on customer feedback with time. This knack for perfection makes highly intelligent people very indecisive about a lot of things. Accepting that it is okay for things to not be perfect can help smart people come to terms with life's experience. It can also lower anxiety and stress over things that one shouldn't worry about in the first place. Number 5. Have more responsibility The tendency to be assigned more responsibilities than others is higher when you are very intelligent. The general assumption is that you would do a better job. Naturally, intelligent people perform tasks better than others, but they are humans too. And sometimes, the pressure can be too much. Its upside is that you learn a lot and gain more experience than your peers. On the downside, you may have longer working hours and have to attend a lot of high-level meetings 
that you may not be fully prepared for half the time. Number 6. They often have a high expectation of others. Because they are so used to doing things smartly and efficiently, they also expect the same from others. This can lead to friction between them and their co-workers because everyone processes stuff at their own speed and trying to make the person do otherwise is not only rude, it is cruel. The company cannot employ only you. You need to learn how to manage your expectations and work with others better. You don't want people to quit because of how badly you treat them. Number 7. They are afraid of making mistakes. Because of the high expectations people have of them, they are afraid of falling short. It is very easy to lose sight of who one is when there is so much expectation. You can't even answer a simple question regarding why you are doing what you are doing. Intelligent people sometimes lose focus in their own goal to live up to standards that people have set for them. Working very hard is great, but working with purpose is better. When you work very hard simply because you don't want someone else to be disappointed, you would feel terrible if the person ends up disappointed. If the goal was to give in your best and learn while at it, the feeling is different. You will more or less see the result as one of those moments you work hard and things still don't work out. You need to avoid toxic bosses too. If you work in a place where you are verbally abused as a way of motivation, you need to leave. Your mental health is more important than whatever experience you think you can get there. You can always get it elsewhere. Number 8. People have a high expectation of them. Do you feel under a lot of pressure all the time at work? Does everyone seem to want you to work with them on a project? Welcome to the nightmare of intelligent people. You will always be giving tasks even when others are free and expected to deliver quality within a short period. This can be really demanding, but you get used to it. Everyone who is highly intelligent in the workplace faces this challenge. Number 9. They trust your intelligence too much. Gut feeling is also the right way of making decisions that most intelligent people don't trust. For venture capital firms that invest in startups, while the application may be high, the market is ready for it, and the team is incredible. You can never be 100% certain that the venture will fly. Most times, big investors invest from experience. They can tell intuitively if a deal is good or bad. It is quite risky, and intelligent people who rationalize everything are unlikely to make such deals. Trusting your intelligence, while good, can sometimes make you miss out on a lot of opportunities. Sometimes, taking a leap of faith makes all the difference. Number 10. They stand out too much. Sometimes, you might feel like becoming smaller when you are very intelligent. From just answering questions in class, the lecturer will always want you to contribute in class. But this doesn't apply only to college. Even while working, if the CEO visits your branch and is making some inquiries and you answer brilliantly, the next time he makes a round, he or she will look out for you. Because of how eloquent and confident they are, highly intelligent people always stand out. As long as you are intelligent, even when you run your own enterprise, you might still encounter some of the struggles daily. A great way to deal with it is to take it for granted that they are there. Strive to work better with people and be happy. This way, nothing that happens moves you.